1075 Sacramento's hit music station. Of course, your boy Sushi in the house. Sushi. The Surf Fresh Show on your airwaves. And right now, a very, very special guest in the building. 978,000, I think was my last count on Instagram. Well, who's counting? You're counting? I guess so. I'm, I'm trying to stay up to date with you. That's why I wanted to give you like this epic intro. But Danny Riel is in the building right now, y'all. What's up, Sushi? All right, so we got you in here. This is actually kind of a legendary moment because I think this is going to be uh, my interview with the most followers. <laughs> is it really? I think so. Uh, so you're not that cool, Dan. I mean, I am right. now. It's good. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I could hold it down for you. It's all good. So welcome to Sacramento, for one. Thank you. Um, you've been spending some time here. What were you doing in Sac, by the way? I was here for an event called The Sweet 16 by So Incredible Unity. They brought me down here to appear at a high school in Sheldon. Hi. Yep, shout out to South Sac, Elk Grove, all of them. And a big shout out to Soul Incredible for throwing the event. Really appreciate you guys. And um, it is nice to have you in the area. And I heard there was all kinds of dancers out there from all over the world. Not only all over the world, but from like three years old to like 30. Right. Yeah. So you got to experience it all. Yeah, I did. I was creeping. I was creeping. <laughs> you definitely were because they were all over your Snapchat. So we were creeping back, but yeah. you know what I'm saying. So what would you say has been your favorite part about being a part of an event like this? The kids, because normally I, I do like automotive events, and this was a chance for me to like be one-on-one in a gymnasium with the kids. Right. And like that feel is so awesome to see them all excited and hyped. Like I feed off of that. So that was really awesome for me. And so we, we bring up, like, you know, they're excited, they're hyped, and 978,000 followers. Let's put this all together real quick. How did this happen? Like, where where did where did the, the whole Danny Riel is hella famous thing start? <laughs> I got boobs. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, for real, um, I started modeling, um, doing automotive events. I think what really kicked it off is YouTube, because apparently I have an okay personality underneath this vice. And uh, so like the fans grasp onto that and when I meet them, they feel like they know me already. I do some skits with a lot of other YouTubers as well, like Timothy De La Ghetto who's right. killing it on MTV, uh, Wild and Out, and like a lot of other YouTube artists. So I've, I've just been growing ever since. So you've just kind of been expanding wherever you can find your way. Yeah, I'm dominating, man. It's it's definitely <laughs> it's definitely evident. Speaking of uh, dominating and YouTube things, you there's actually a song <laughs> called Danny Riel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to D Prizzy, D Pride. I'm still waiting on that record, by the way. I'm sending Danny to tell you that too. I'm going to text him real quick. I was just talking to him. I've been waiting. I, I hit him up. One of my homies produced a track for him. It was a super ratchet record that they <laughs> that they shot a video for, and I've been waiting for the pack for it. So let him know. I'll let him know. <laughs> I honestly was just finished talking about him. He's literally the most talented person I've ever met. And, and that's real. And and he's because he spreads around like he does a lot. He does his own production sometimes. He also sings, raps. He videotapes it. So we did the Danny Real music video. Right. He started off as a fan and he made it. And I, like, you know, people tweeted it to me. So I reached out to him and I was like, why don't we film video for this? And he's like, word? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> so, like, he, he, yeah, we were just having that conversation. How he's like, you know, it's, it's just been an honor to become a friend of yours now, you know, because we're from fan to friend. And it was right. awesome. And just like dealing with him, he's so, like, that mind is precious. You can't help but say you're kind of inspired by somebody like that. Definitely. Cuz it keeps it keeps you moving as well. Yeah, definitely. So what um what other endeavors that people might not know that you're doing are you involved in? Um like I would say my clothing brand is the Real brand. You can go to dannyreal.com, shameless plug. Um and check out that stuff. Like I'm I'm not just throwing my face on shirts. I actually have a team and we're designing things, we're trying to make cool things. Um, for the kids and now we're revamping everything trying to make a movement of what real life actually means and that's awesome that so yeah. so going beyond the what they see there's something tangible that I'm, they can have yeah, for themselves I'm an entrepreneur and i just try and do whatever i can i love marketing and doing all those kind of things so and so it becomes kind of a fun thing to kind of expand and do something else with what you got definitely and traveling also number one every weekend i think until november i have somewhere to be so it's like. So where else are you going to be? <laughs> well, I have my Australian tour coming up. 
Um, I, I'm going to go to five different places in like a week. And that's uh, meet and greets every day and club events at night. A journey. <laughs> I, I, I would... This is this is gonna get a little bit touchy, but I will say that I feel like the term that's used, quote unquote, import model, is thrown around very easily these days. What is your take on this? Um, I hate it <laughs> because when people come to me, they're like, "Oh, you're an import model." I don't think I'm the slightest bit an import model, just because I've been on magazine covers of Import Tuner and D Sport and Super Street and all that. Doesn't mean I'm a import model. I make money and I set up shop at car shows. I don't know anything about cars, to be honest with you. I don't care about anything about cars. I care about my fans, and it's an outlet that I have to meet the fans. Right. So what I do is like way beyond just import modeling. I don't stand by cars. And, and I've always kind of thought, it's something that like over the years has been like this blanket term that's basically put on any Asian girl that... Is hot. Th- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's hot in a, in a pair of high-waisted jean shorts with right. a top. <laughs> you're, an Im- you're an import model, but there was never yeah. a car in a photo. Hey, but you know, at the same time, like, it makes girls happy, and it, it is a stepping stone to something maybe that if they want to keep pushing their career, it's right. like, it is that stepping stone. So it's like, you can't hate on it. Right. But, I mean, I guess the um, exclusivity of the term isn't quite the same as it was back in the day. Right. Like Sasha Singleton and Christy Mendoza and those girls. Yeah, it doesn't mean what that meant at the time. because yeah. that, And that was very, you say exclusivity, it was very exclusive at the time. There was mm-hmm. people that you recognized their names for that category. And sure. now it's just kind of like, oh, you're an import model and it's like a throwaway. Yeah, well, I mean, like, they paved the way. Yeah. And then I'm sort of, like, capitalizing on it because I see the potential and, and the way that I've grown so fast that I'm, I'm actually doing something with that. I'm not just sitting here and smiling. Right. Well, you know, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> but the sitting and smiling thing is something that people have caught on to, caught on to and grown to love, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. So what is what is next? What what do you want to do? What is what what is your your goal with with your future? Oh, the, I knew you're gonna ask this question. I can never answer this question. I'm trying to take things year at a time. I can barely plan for the like the winter. But um, as far as career wise, it all depends on my personal life and how how what, what that takes me. Right. Mm, I want to have some children and start a family too. One day I might just disappear. Um, but until then, I'm just going to be working really hard. I'm never satisfied for what I'm doing. But I'm not going to say anything that I'm going to be trying to do. An <laughs> entrepreneur who is smart about your personal life. That is definitely, those are things that go together quite well for you right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So um, any last things you want to say to Sacramento before we get out of here? Um, Sacramento, I have not been able to go around and gallivant as much as I would have wanted to. But... That's okay with me because the people that I've met are amazing. They're so personable, and I've had the most welcoming hugs here. So I just want to say you guys are a great group of people, and I'm happy to be here. And uh, anybody who doesn't know where to find you on the internet, social media, all of that, where do they find you? Oh, hey. Uh, (laughs) You can find me at any dannyreal.com. That's D-A-N-N-I-E-R-I-E-L. On Twitter, Instagrams, Facebooks, you know. Check it out. Oh. All of it. Yeah, and then my YouTube page is youtube.com slash the real world. R-I-E-L, if you don't know. So make sure you go <laughs> cop the clothes. Make sure you go peep the videos and all of that. And thank you very much for coming by. Sushi, you demand. Thanks for having me. <laughs> it's all good. Asians stand up. What up, Sack? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Danny Real just got done with this interview though. I know, right? Yeah. She what? killed it. Did I? Killing it. <laughs> Danny Real. Real, 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 real. Real Dizzle. Listen to 103.5 I mean, I mean, in Sacramento for my weird drop.